We're working around the clock to try to find this guy. So. Happening now at 10, not slowing down tonight. Othel Wallace remains on the run, wanted for shooting a Daytona Beach police officer in the head. A reward for information leading to his arrest has now grown to $200,000. And new tonight, the FBI has just released a nationwide bulletin about Wallace. Agents say he has ties to Miami, Atlanta, and Toomsboro, Georgia, and also Maryland. We're told his alias is Ozone, and he once served as a security guard. The FBI says he has tattoos on his neck and chest and may have gold teeth. But while local, state and federal law enforcement work to bring Wallace to justice, the officer who was shot continues to fight for his life inside of a local hospital. Outside the walls of the hospital, a community has gathered to make sure he and his family know their sacrifice is appreciated and they are not in this alone. West News Kelsey Thor joins us live from Halifax Hospital with the very latest. Kelsey. Yeah, Stu, so as you and Michelle just said, a lot of the focus over the past couple of days has been trying to track down Wallace, the man who is accused of shooting Officer Jason Rayner, who's an officer with the Daytona Beach Police Department. But the community here today really wanted to focus on Officer Rayner. So what they did is they had this huge caravan of Jeeps come out and park here in front of the hospital. As Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner continues to fight for his life inside Halifax Health Medical Center, the community is doing all it can to show its support. Dozens of community members hopped in their Jeeps for a procession around the hospital, all to show Officer Rayner and his family that they're here for them. This one hits close to home because I do know him and the family well. Aaron Perro is a friend of Officer Rayner. He was actually one of Rayner's first training officers when Rayner joined the Daytona Beach Police Department back in 2019. You know, he was probably one of the best trainees that I ever had in my career. Perro has been in touch with Officer Rayner's family over the past few days. He told me they appreciate the community's support and just want to keep all the focus on his recovery. Jason knows he has a great support group here and he's very appreciative of the community standing behind him and all of the people that we don't even know that are supporting law enforcement in general, supporting Jason and he's, you know, although, you know, he's got a long road ahead, the family is very appreciative of getting his story out there. Now, a GoFundMe page has also been set up to aid Rayner and his family. They've already seen donations of thousands of dollars. We will put up a link on our website for people interested in contributing to that. So clearly the, the community is coming together here, but there's also still that focus on Wallace and trying to track him down. For now, live in Daytona Beach, I'm Kelsey Thord. Back to you guys.